Hello, my name is Felix Adi Pramono, or you can call me Felix J1. At first, I would like to say thank you to all committee of CrapCon 2022 for giving me the opportunity to introduce the richness or the biodiversity of Indonesia in terms of new variants and new species of land herbic crab family discovered after year 2000. So, sit back and relax. Enjoy my presentation. Hello everybody, and it is nice to see you again in the CREP conference. At first, let me introduce myself. My name is Felix Adi Pramono, or usually you know me as Felix J. Wang. I am from Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia. My educational background is Bachelor in Travel Business Management. I had previously worked as an airline personnel, a branch manager for a flight attendant and airline ground staff training institution, and as a part-time English-speaking tour guide. I have known land hermit crabs as pets since I was in kindergarten. Upon leaving my last job as the manager of the airline staff and flight attendant training institution, I am currently a full-time land hermit crab and seashell seller. During my journey as a full-time land hermit crab seller and observer, I have found several variants of land hermit crabs of the recorded or existing species, and at least two new future species from Gunnabididae family. In this session, I will cover the variants or color morphs of the two existing or recorded Genobitidae family members, which is Genobita perlatus and Genobita violations, one species that was introduced by me for the first time to the public, but I wasn't aware that it was a new species, which is now called Genobita lila, and a species that had been discovered since 1988, but nobody had shared the pictures nor been aware about its existence in the Indonesian territory until 28 years later. Indonesia is a large country that covers 1,904,569 square kilometer or approximately 735,358 square kilometer area. It is stretched between latitude of 11 degrees south up to 6 degree north and longitude between 95 degree up to 141 degree east. Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the world. There are five main islands, Java, Sumatra, Kalimantan or Borneo, Sulawesi or Celebes, and the western half of New Guinea or currently called Papua in Indonesian, plus other 13,600 smaller islands. It is no doubt that this country also has the longest coastline compared to other countries in the world if you accumulate or sum up the length of the coastline of all existing islands within Indonesian territory. The equator lies across the archipelago from west to the east. That means Indonesia has year-round sunshine and due to the tropical climate and 78% humidity, the coastlines are perfect habitat for many land hermit crab species. Since 2016, Indonesia has been known as the one and only country in the world that is inhabited by at least half of the total recorded land hermit crab species or Genobitidae family in the world. Here is the comparison table of land hermit crab species that may be found in Indonesia and other Southeast Asian countries. There are 11 countries in Southeast Asia. All of them has coastline except Laos, which is a landlocked country. There are four subtopics in this presentation. Now let us discuss about the first subtopic, the zebra pattern Gerbita violations. 
Until 2005, there were still many people or hobbyists in the world who misidentified juvenile Genubita violations as Genubita cavipes. And absolutely no other Indonesians besides me who was aware that Genubita violations can be easily found on many islands throughout the Indonesian archipelago. By observing some pictures on some websites on the internet that previously stated that Genubita violation is a species endemic to Okinawa and other Ryukyuan islands of Japan as well as Genubita purpureus, I had been quite aware that some purplish hermit crabs, the one that looked like Genubita brevimanus but not Genubita brevimanus, is indeed an Indonesian native Genubita violations. For sure, some hobbyists abroad opposed me by saying that Genubita violations should have deeper blue or purple color instead of brownish exoskeleton like yours. Or, some other people said, yours is a cavipes because it has brownish orange coloration on the exoskeleton. But finally, in 2006, Tony Choi's website supported my opinion that Genubita violations is indeed inhabiting many parts of the world, not only endemic to the Ryukyuan Islands of Japan. And after that, all land hermit crab enthusiast forums started aware that our calf is actually a viola. In 2007, when I visited Surabaya, I met a fellow collector named Mr. Ladi Susan Yuswan. I'm used to call him Sansan. He presented to me some of his land hermit crab collections that he obtained from a wholesaler who were used to supply street vendors. I was surprised to see the small hermit crabs with black and white or black and yellowish brown pattern on the legs. I thought they were Genobita cavipes, or maybe a new species. But after I observed the body limbs and characteristics deeply, I came into conclusion that they were juvenile Genobita violations. Sansan told me that the hermit crab seller might have the stock from Sumbawa Island. Therefore, although the scientific name violations means becoming violet or purple, it doesn't mean that all the hermit crabs will always be violet when they are fully grown. When I explored some islands in eastern Indonesia, such as Celebes, Halmahera, Ambon, and Biak, most of the Genubita violations showed the similar phenomenon. The small and medium ones having zebra patterned legs, which is black or dark brown color with white or yellow rings on the leg joints. The white or yellowish pen or rings on the legs tend to dissolve as the hermit crab grow larger. The adult and large or jumbo size of Genubita violations from such areas tend to have solid coloration on the limb, for example, dull dark bluish purple, dull brownish purple, greenish brown like mangrove crabs, dull grayish brown, and rarely brownish orange like black tea color. While the usual Genubita violations that I was used to encounter from my childhood until 2007 are usually in bright orange color when they are still juvenile, especially the small or S size, and most of them turn into purplish brown, dark purplish blue, grayish blue, 
or mix between grayish purple and orange as they grow bigger based on my observation but it hasn't been conclusive yet the Genubita violations that displays darker or more solid black or brown legs with clear white or off-white bands on the leg joints usually inhabits the place with high nickel deposit or if there's nickel mining on the respective island now let us move to the second subtopic the united colors of strawberry land hermit crabs thanks also to my fellow collector Ladi Susan Yusvan from Surabaya that has introduced the dark colored strawberry land hermit crabs in his collection in 2007 he had also obtained the Genubita perlatus from the same wholesaler who sold the zebra pattern Genubita violations. He told me that in that period, the strawberry land hermit crabs were not intentionally caught by the supplier or fisherman who hunted the hermit crabs. They were focusing on catching small size land hermit crabs, mainly Genubita rugosus followed by Genubita violations in the second place in terms of amount or percentage per batch, then Genubita brevimanus and Genubita cavipes. Since Sunsun has known hermit crabs from my Yahoo mailing list around 2006, he knows about strawberry land hermit crabs. And when he saw the similar red land hermit crabs at the hermit crab wholesaler place, he immediately bought it. He told me that the Genubita perlatus were caught from Sumbawa Island as well. I was surprised to see that one of the two strawberries in his collection were in very solid dark red coloration throughout the exoskeleton, while the other smaller Genubita perlatus were in red color with maroon accents or pen on the leg joints. In 2007, I started to market the Genuita Perlatus that I purchased from Sumbawa Island. I only got very few of them as dark strawberries. But in recent years or post-2015, I have encountered more and more color pattern variations of Genubita perlatus. In 1980s decade, during my childhood, I had encountered street vendor in front of my kindergarten selling Genubita perlatus and other small hermit crabs. Usually, the Genubita perlatus were in medium or large size and they were sold for about 100 rupiah per unit if i purchased the small hermit crabs they could be mixed species between genubita rugosus genubita violations and genubita brevimanus it also cost 100 rupiah per six small hermit crabs the strawberry land hermit crab or Genubita perlatus might have been hunted from Java Sunda Street Coast or now the areas located in Banten province which are overdeveloped and themed with resort hotels and apartment from Anyer Beach area up to Tanjung Lesung and several offshore islands such as Popole and Sangyang. The strawberry land hermit crabs sold by such street vendor displayed similar coloration like the same species which are obtained from Sumatra and its outlying islands in the Indian Ocean, such as Engano, Mentawai Islands, Nias Island, Banyak Islands, Batu Islands, Simele, etc. The juvenile Genubita perlatus, which originates from Western Indonesia, are normally in plain red, 
reddish orange, candy cane pattern, or white with red stripes on the limbs, or rarely plain white. The adult Gunnabita perlatus in medium size and up are normally in plain or standard red or reddish orange color. The maroon or very dark red color may also occasionally found from Western Indonesia. Maybe less than 5 hermit crabs among 100 hermit crab. The strawberry land hermit crabs that inhabit central and eastern part of Indonesia tend to display darker coloration. The juvenile, especially the small ones, tend to be in red or paler red coloration, with maroon or dark red band on the leg joints. Occasionally, I also found those which are in white coloration with red or maroon band on the leg joints. The medium size and up are usually in red or reddish orange color with maroon band on the leg joints. Well, a few percent of them displaying solid dark red or almost black color throughout the body. There are more black strawberries in large and jumbo size. They are very dark, almost solid dark red. I am the first seller in the world who invented the flame strawberry category or flame strawberry term for the Genubita perlatus in red or reddish orange with maroon bands on the limbs and black strawberry for a Genubita perlatus that has almost solid very dark red throughout the body. We usually encounter more black strawberry category in the L and XL sizes. Now we are going to discuss the third subtopic about the Indonesian blueberry land hermit crabs. In 2005, I started to introduce or call the Gunnibita purpureus as Okinawan or Ryukyuan blueberry land hermit crab in Hermit Crab Association Forum. And that year was also my first time to have Gunnibita purpureus as a pet. I purchased the two blueberry land hermit crabs at a pet store at Okubu Street in Tokyo. In 2006, for the first time, one of my land hermit crab suppliers around Jakarta informed me that he had got a new type of land hermit crabs in his stock. He asked me to identify them. He told me that he had got that stock from Western Kalimantan province. I was indeed surprised when I came to this particular wholesaler and I saw the hermit crabs. I noticed that the hermit crabs have quite similar characteristics to Genobita variabilis, but the dominant coloration were lavender, purplish gray or grayish blue. Some of them also displayed brown color on the legs. Since the geographical distribution is quite far from the distribution of Aussie land hermit crabs or Genobita variabilis, I came into conclusion Based on the color similarity, they, they could be a variant or subspecies of Gunnabita purpureus. In the past, I did not know that to determine a hermit crab species, we should not rely on the color of the exoskeleton. And besides that, I also had a thought that the hermit crabs that came from Borneo were still connected with Taiwan or Formosa Islands or Ryukyuan Islands by South China Sea. So in my mind, I thought that Gunnibita purpureus larvae might also be widespread from Taiwan to the Philippines up to northern Borneo and western part of Indonesia. Tony Choi opposed my opinion. He said that I should consider the possibility that the Indonesian blueberry might be a new species, but in that time, I had no access at all to anybody in Indonesia who is a hermit crab taxonomist or researcher. Until 2016, I had not been aware about the hermit crab that I considered as Gunnabita purpureus from Indonesia was actually a new species. And in the same year, a hermit crab taxonomist from Indonesia, Professor Dr. Dwi Listiorahayu, and another taxonomist from Taiwan, 
Professor Dr. C. Tosher published the scientific journal about this species and named this new land hermit crab species as Gunupita lila. Both professors are now cooperating with me in identifying two new species suspects from the Indonesian archipelago. Compared to Gunupita purpureus, Gunupita lila has several significant different features. First, relatively identical size of male sexual tubes. Instead of long projected thread, male sexual tube as seen on Gunupita purpureus. Second, less visible longitudinal ridges on the left chela or left pincer, or usually we call it stitch marks, compared to Gunupita purpureus. The left pincer or BP or Gunupita lila tends to have more granules or hair setae that obscures the stitch marks. Now we have come into the last subtopic, Gunupita pseudorugosus, the unknown species for 28 years. More than a decade ago, I had been misled by a buyer abroad who said that he had imported a few extremely rare hermit crabs from Southeast Asia. And I followed him to call such kind of hermit crab with greenish or yellowish tones on the leg as Gunupita pseudorugosus. In 2015, I got a copy of Mr. Yukio Nakasone's scientific journal on Gunupita pseudorugosus from Professor Dr. Dwilistio Rahayu. After observing the hand drawings of Gunupita pseudorugosus morphology in that scientific journal, I remember that I had been occasionally obtained some hermit crabs from street vendors in Indonesia whose characteristics are more similar to the illustrations compared to the hermit crabs with yellowish stone on the legs. And finally, in November 2016, several months after Gunevita lila species was validated, I conclude that the what so-called Gunevita pseudorugosus was not the one I had been used to know since 2011. Or in another word, I had not been aware that I had already encountered the real Gunevita pseudorugosus that matches Mr. Nakasone's scientific journal for years from Indonesian street vendors. And actually, I have discovered a new species suspect besides the real Gunupita pseudorugosus. Some features that differ Gunupita pseudorugosus from Gunupita rugosus. First, longer or projected right coxa or male sexual tube almost similar to Gerbita purpureus right male sexual tube. Second, the lower margin of the left cella or left pincer of Gerbita pseudorugosus is nearly straight. There are some color variations of Gerbita pseudorugosus, from grayish brown or black, the most commonly found, greenish brown, grayish olive, stone gray, grayish cream, cornflower blue, maroon to bubblegum pink. Compared to Gunubita rugosus, there are less color variation on Gunubita pseudorugosus. Because many of the Gunubita pseudorugosus display soft or pastel colorations, I nickname this species as marble land hermit crab. And how about the species that I was used to mistakenly call Gunupita pseudorugosus? From 2016 to 2022, I was used to call them Gunupita lila var felixi as the temporary name. It is because on my observation, this kind of hermit crab presents the very similar characteristics to Gunupita lila, except for the body color variations or color patterns. 
I previously considered it as a color morph of Gerbita lila. But this year, with the help of Professor Dr. Si Te Shi from Taiwan, who did the DNA analysis, I have obtained the result that the hermit crab with yellowish stone on the leg is a sister species of Gerbita lila. Or it can be said that the DNA mapping is close to Genobita lila. I created a nickname for this new species suspect, tiger or turmeric land hermit crab. In Bahasa Indonesia, we call it kelomang macan or kelomang harimau. And I have prepared the scientific name and hopefully the scientific journal will be finished and the new species will be validated before the end of this year. And another good news is, there will be also another new species that I have discovered endemic to some islands in the Indonesian archipelago that I currently nickname it Battleship Land Hermit Crab or Kelombang Serdadu in Bahasa Indonesia. Professor Dr. Dwi Listio Rahayu is also helping me in drawing the dead specimen's body parts of both future new species for morphological description. So please wish me luck that the two new species will be validated before the end of 2022. Thank you for watching my presentation and I hope you have enjoyed that. From a pristine beach in central Sulawesi province, Indonesia, full of baby land hermit crabs, I would like to say goodbye. See you next time.